I'm very excited to be back with a new video. Um, today I'm doing a guest post for Paperishes. Paperishes is an Indian brand um, who make amazing art and craft supplies. Uh, I will leave a link to their website in the description box below. For today's project, I'm trying out their chalk paints. I went to, so I went to a nursery nearby to buy some plants. Um, I I never really grown any plants as such. I've just had a few on my desk that were that were a gift. There were gifts from some friends and family, but I've never really um, worked on any plants or never really grown any plants. Um, but I want to change that. The new house um, has a bit of a garden. I have a space for garden uh, and I'm really excited. I really want to learn. So I went to a nursery nearby uh, and I was looking for plants that I can't possibly kill uh, and I came across these beautiful cute terracotta pots and I thought they would be perfect for succulents. That's what I'll be working on today. Okay. So to, to, so to, to start off, I am using a piece of sandpaper and I gently, and I'm gently sanding the outer surface of the pots. I suggest you do this outdoors like I did to avoid getting the workstation messy. Generally for chalk paints you wouldn't need to prepare the surface or even prime it um, but in this case the pots uh, I have were crudely made um, and the surface was chipping off in some places um, just to get so just to get an even um, surface I sanded them you can totally avoid this if you're using smooth pots or um, well-made pots or even porcelain pots for that for that matter you could directly start using chalk paints two shades to work with uh, I'm also cutting two pieces of sponge sponge for application you can totally use a brush for this as well. I can't find my palette, so I'm using the back of a pack of the back of a, of some plates. Um, you don't need any special kind of um, palette for this. Uh, chalk paints are water based. They can be diluted with water or cleaned off with water. Once they are dry, they are permanent. But these are no mess at all. So any kind of palette will do. I'm using uh, I'm using the purple shade called dried lavender. And remember, with chalk paints, a little goes a long way. At this point, I start painting. Uh, but I would have done one more thing uh, soak these spots in water for a couple of hours and then let them out to dry this will clean the pots uh, wash off all that dust from the sanding also it might soak up less of paint my mum does this with her clay diyas every year for Diwali so I think the same um, I think the same principle applies for oil. You wouldn't want the diyas to soak up too much oil, um, so you would soak them in water and dry them for a couple of hours, and that way they don't. I think they're probably not too porous. I'm not sure. But like me, if you're impatient, then then no worries, this uh, also is going to work perfectly if you haven't done that step. A single coat gives you a good coverage. There is still some dust on my fingers and some of it is getting onto the painted pot. Uh, I'm just rubbing the sponge on these areas. Like I said before, if I had washed the pot, 
instead of just wiping it with a towel like I did, this wouldn't have happened. So you can, you can totally avoid this. I painted three of the pots in purple and then I'm switching to the light green sand, to the light sand kind of a color called soft rock. Once finished, I'm taking the purple sponge and I'm going over the rim of the lighter color pot. Just to add some interest, um, I'm doing this for the purple pot with the light color as well. This is just so that both the, the colors kind of come together. Would you just look at that, so cute. Next, I'm pulling out some jute rope for my stash cutting them into five different heights and tying them around each part. It was time, it's time to go to the nursery. Um, I went to one nearby, near home, and got some gorgeous succulents. Damp cloth will clean off any mud you might get onto the pots while potting the succulents. And there you go. Super easy, fun and quick way to pep up your garden. Be sure to check out www.paperishes.com for more of their chalk paint shades and a lot of other art and craft supplies. Thank you for watching and I hope you like the video.